Well, hello and welcome to Lloyd's Jewelry, our video channel. Today we're going to hand string some pearls with the uh, probably the easiest method and the easiest to use method that there is out there. It's a two strand Japanese method. And by using two strands, you can get those knots where they need to be. And we'll talk about that later. What you'll need to do this job and to do it professionally and have it look professional uh, is some gimp or French wire. And you can see that on the right there. It's very finely coiled wire. And you'll put your beading cord through there and it'll loop over and make a nice connection and protect the string from uh, wear on the clasp. And to the left, we have some beading cord that uh, has a needle attached. And the needle attached is the beading cord. It's number two. And we're showing it her in pink, but we'll use some white when we're doing the strand. We'll start on that right away. But our own small business is on Etsy and on eBay. And we'll provide some links to that. We specialize in 10 cup pearls, freshwater pearls, and full strand pearls. In addition, we have the new Edison pearls, which are very round, very high quality. And it will provide you a link if you'd like to look at those later. But let's hand tie some pearls. You can uh, do your own pearls with this method. And since the uh, jewelry store charge you about $50 to do a strand, that's $50 you can save by using this method. And we'll get started now hand stringing some pearls. There's several different methods for uh, hand tying pearls. And it boils down to, in general terms, single strand methods and double strand methods. And this is a double strand method. It's really good for getting the pearl knot tied up against the pearl where you want it instead of having a gap. And all the pearl knots are really the same and we'll use the same knot throughout. Now I'm gonna do a demonstration here and this is a some one millimeter nylon cord that we of course won't be using later. We'll use some silk. So we've got our one strand going through. All we do is just make a loop over the top like this. And then we reach through the hole we just made and pull that through. This makes a overhand knot. But since it's on to another strand, officially it could be called a half hitch. And we'll tight, once we tighten that down, we'll be pulling 90 degrees apart like this. And that'll pull that knot right in place. And we'll be a little bit closer when we do it. Now let's switch to the real thing. We're going to do some 9.5 millimeter high quality Edison round pearls and we're going to do it with number two griffin silk all right we're working on a glass top table here and uh, the all the pearls are on there we string all of them on and we put a beadkeeper at the back uh, this keeps the pearls from sliding off because those pearls what they want to do right now is jump off and run and hide so we've got 18 inches of pearls and I had to borrow some from a second strand because often the first strand you buy will be 15 and a half inches and you'll have to add to it from a second strand. It's unfortunate, but that's the way they sell it normally. Now, if we look here at the end, I've cut my gimp with a pair of fine scissors or you can do a Zacto knife and be real careful with this uh, gimp because it can get out of shape real easily. There's a quarter of an inch gimp and it's about seven millimeters and we have a gold filled clasp here corrugated eight millimeter it'll match well with pearls but we have the same thing in 14 karat gold but uh give it a gold fill choice it saves some money to the customer now we've got 12 inches at the back beyond our bead keeper or a temporary knot if you use a temporary knot and then we're going to put about 12 inches at the top above our pearls also and this gives us working room for the kind of knotting we're going to do. All right, I'll bring that gimp up. Now I'm at about 12 inches from my pearls. So I bring up one pearl. And you're not going to have any ends to glue at this end. We'll work with that at the other end because this should be a straight through strand. So now I just work that needle back through. Sometimes it's a little difficult, stubborn like. All right, now let's pull that needle through and strand it. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna set this gimp and clasp at this point. We got plenty of thread. There's six yard, six meters of it, which is about 79 inches. And I don't recommend trying to use this uh, uh, over in a second thing because you might 
have a case in which the uh, needle could uh, come loose if you try to do too much of it. So now we've got the pearl there. If you see that, see how straight that gimp is? And I've got my clasp there. Now once I pull that down, now there it's your professional end. That's the same thing that's used by high quality jewelry store operation. Now we're gonna make that we're gonna make that loop we talked about right over. I'm gonna reach through and pull it through. Pull it through. Now we're gonna pull it tight. We just leave it right there between your thumb and forefinger. We don't really need a tool for this. Uh, now we have our knot there. It's pretty close. But what makes the difference now, we're going to pull that knot really tight. 90 degrees. Now that does two things. It makes the knot, knot what we're going to call tight and right. It's a tight knot. It's in the right place. It's right up against the pearl. Now you can consistently get your knots right this way. So we'll do a few here and then we'll not bore you, but you're having to watch me do the whole thing. We'll catch back up later. We'll just go right back through the hole here. Sometimes it's a little stubborn. Have to straighten our needle occasionally with a thumb finger. All right, I've got that needle through, and I want to pull it, pull it through. Now I've got the next pearl done, we're just going to slide it all the way up. Alright, we've got the next pearl in place now. It's slid all the way up. Now you don't really have to have to hold a lot of pressure on it, but you can put it between your thumb and forefinger like that. And you're using your thumb for a guide. Now if you're a professional doing this and you like to use a doll or a tweezer, so your thumb and forefinger will work just fine. Pull that knot down. Just keep on pulling it. Now the knot's pretty. Once I pull that tight, you can see we got the knot in between. It does what it's supposed to do. It's separating the pearls, but you don't see a lot of the knot. If you're doing some pink strand or something that you'd like to have the knot show, you can double knot between by just doing the same knot again. And that'll give the knots showing, but we're not doing any showing knots here. We're doing tight knots. But as you can see, that's perfect. And see the gimp at the top? That's the first professional strand. Like I say, we don't have to do any glue in here because we're going all the way through. So once we go all the way through, we'll get to the end. I've got some special tips down there with the end of this strand. But i got 18 inches to do. Let's take a little break. I've heard quotes from a lot of professionals say that at the end of a strand, they need a third hand because those last three pearls are hard to get in the right place. And it's easy to end up with an unseemly gap uh, bigger than you want. So this is the third hand approach I've been talking about. Uh, it's just a paint stirrer. But what we've done is we put a piece of double faced tape down here on this end. You can't hardly see it, but it's some double faced tape there. Then we got our last three pearls stuck to that. Uh, we've also reversed the lines. You just remember I said we were going to pull out the through line and put it over that fourth pearl, which is the third gap here. So this is the line we were using as the through line. And this now is the uh, line with the needle on it. You can see the needle over here. The reason to do that is uh, it just saves you having to put a needle on that other line and go back through but anyway now remember this is already tied here so we only got to tie in these two gaps but now by putting them close together which is what we're doing with this strand we're not trying to show the knots we're trying to get in a good tight strand so we take a taking that line through the gap the clasp in it we just remove from the other end and there's our gimp now we're going to just pull that tight like we did before. This gimp will whip, whip over and it'll be in the right place. I'm going to hold that top pearl and I'm going to pull it in place. And right now there's no knot here and there's no knot in number two. There is a knot in number three. It's complete. And this is the previous through line. So let's pull that tight now. First of all, we get them right. See there, they're all close together. And we'll hold that knot down. 
I mean, I'm sorry, we'll hold the pearl now and we'll pull our clasp in place with our gimp just by pulling our need to hold that down and those others will stay there because of the tape and you will hardly see me put a finger here so we can see it maybe see that gimp coming in place hold that pearl down and pull it in place now you can't see what i'm doing here it's going to come out all right look at what we've got whoops now we've got that gimp on there and we've got the clasp on there and now we just need to knot between the last two pearls. All right, we're at the end. We'll do some cleanup here of what we've done and I apologize for the poor quality of the video and I hope the information though is useful for you. So what we did at the end is we uh, took that last three loose pearls, we're not tied, and we run our line through it that had the needle. Now we tied off the previous line that we were tying onto, which was our through line. It's here. We tied that off. So we have a knot here and a string hanging out. Then we've done that already. I showed in the previous section of the video where we came through this and we made a knot here. And it's the same knot. You run your string, you run your needle under, through, back through, and then back through your loop you made, pull it up tight. And then you can take it off of this uh, board here or this uh, stir stick and then run it back through here. You might have to hang it over your forefinger and get it to work it back through there and bring it out. Then we tie this knot the same way. We got the thread coming out. We bring it under, make a loop, come back through the loop and up, hold it real tight. So we've got a tight knot here and a tight knot here with string hanging out here and string hanging out, out there. And then we use our uh, scissors and cut that not both places. Now this is the one time you need something that you might have to purchase. You can get it on a lot of different internet sites and it's originally made for jewelers to do watches. It's called GS Hypo Cement and it is best for these for strengthening your knot and making sure they won't come unraveled at the end. Most professionals use this. Uh, we see some people that use super glue. Most of the professionals recommend against it and some people even use uh, Clear nail polish, and some of those have been doing pearls a long time, worked for them, but uh, most experts will probably agree this is the best. So all you have to do is just take the cap off. It has a real sharp little needle on it there. And uh, you just take that, and you put that glue in there. You don't have to squeeze it much. Put it in there on the knot. You know, hold it on your forefinger, and then put it on that knot. And now we have it you can put it on this knot here also so we put it on three knots this one this one and this one and then if we can we'll get that top back on there that's not an easy thing to do but we'll put the top back on there and once we get the top back on there we're finished and really the only thing you had to buy to make this work is some gimp and some gs cement there's a lot of places to find it uh, one place that you might use is called Fusion, F-U-S-I-O-N, Fusion.com, be, FusionBeads.com, and they'll have both those items uh, in addition to a beadkeeper if you'd like one, and you can buy them one at a time instead of a whole lot, and uh, that's where one place to get your GS cement. So good luck with hand tying your own pearls, and there's lots of other options and things you can do, but the video's getting a little long, uh, and there's a lot of different type of string you can use like uh, power pro which is a synthetics really good but that'd be a subject of another video and thanks for watching if you made it all the way and we'll provide a few links here to get to our etsy and ebay sites both in the description below and in the annotation that we have on the uh, screen so make comments on this as much as you like and uh, good or bad and and if you have questions put them there we'll use it as a semi-blog and i'll answer